say um are the five things that make you most happy right now um five things first of all definitely god 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 um like i said i i'm grateful for him mm -hmm. and when i pray sometimes i say god thank you for you mm -hmm. that is a prayer for me thank you for you like if you were not here if you weren't imagine how life would be without god have you ever tried yeah it's like we'll all be mm -hmm. gone we'll be sure. wasted we'll just not have meaning mm -hmm. so i'm grateful to god i'm happy about god first and foremost yeah. secondly <laughs> happy about uh, <laughs> my husband <laughs> He makes me so excited. She blushes when she talks about it. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I mean, he's such a priceless gift. He's a gift. Aww. He's so he's so precious to me because it's like God just wrapped him in a gift box and said, you know, it's you and this is for you. And that means a lot to me because he was thinking about me. Right. right? God, 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 I mean, I'm not deserving. I don't mm. think I'm worthy, but he gave me something so beautiful. Right. Um, grateful for, um, happy about family. Your crazy family? We're crazy. My family is, <laughs> is <laughs> but honestly, it's all love. We love each other. We're happy to always be together, although we drive yeah, each, each other crazy. crazy. <laughs> but family, family, family. Mm -hmm. Um Ministry. Okay. Um I can't wait for God to use me. For what God is about to do. Yeah, I want him to use me. I I pray I pray sometimes I say God empty me out let me be free. let there be no drop mm. before you take me from this earth wow. make sure you empty me like mm, mm, mm. Mm. and then you now say okay mm. let's go so use me if you know if I don't I don't see myself worthy I don't see myself I'm like who am I mm. but God you know what just use me just use me the way you want to use me so mm. yeah ministry and um, what would we be the fifth one now uh, most happy about mm -hmm. um i would just say my life yeah. not because i think i should be where i want to be or you know i'm where i want to be or anything but i'm grateful for purpose yeah i'm grateful for purpose because because when you have purpose at the back of your mind and you always remember purpose then people's timing and people's destinations or everybody else's journey should not really matter right everybody we're on this earth to like run it's an individual race mm. you know run your race around mine so where the competition comes in that's where the problem comes in and i just want i don't want to forget these thoughts i was just thinking about when you talked about um asking uh you got to empty you out to use it for for i mean the ministry um I came to that understanding when I first listened to um, I think it was Miles Monroe mm -hmm. and then this um, other pastor that I, I follow sometimes on um, Facebook at the Ledger. It was about you praying yourself to be empty. Mm -hmm. you know? I didn't quite understand that. So when I got when I got the understanding of that prayer, I started to pray, Lord, let me die empty. Mm -hmm. So I said, understand what it means to die empty, like my biggest fear i know i talk about having fears of failing and the biggest of that fear of failing is failing god yeah. but the thing is we will never we can never fail god you know so my that's kind of i get that being able to be, just be lord i want to die empty yes. means yes. you brought me on this earth for a reason that i'm here for a purpose i want to make sure i fulfill everything i don't care how old i get i don't know i don't care how long it takes you lord to help me get it right but please don't let me Go yes. with what you have put inside of me. Yes. Anywhere I can empty myself out. So yeah, that yes. just being able to empty oneself out. So um, another question is um, I mean you know your auntie. I've I have stories, a lot of experiences, and all of that. And um, for you, I just want to know what has been the hardest experience, any the hardest thing that you've had to experience in your twenty eight years of life that has kind of taught you like you know what? I know we've talked about that earlier but just kind of like specific things like oh that experience was life changing that experience was an eye opener for me well what is that experience for you um i think two comes to mind and i'm trying to place which one is more because uh, there, uh, there's a saying that goes that um 
experience is not the best teacher it's evaluated experience so i've gone so, so evaluate Evaluated experience is the best teacher. teacher. So you could have experiences where well, you don't learn from it, or it transform oh, that's you. Powerful. So okay. I've had many things happen and one comes to mind, but did I really learn from that? Okay. But one thing that I did learn from I that be that way. is the experience I had meeting God two years ago okay. when he you know brought my life partner. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that is you know, something that has changed me is because I'm not the person that I used to be. Mm. If God meets you or God visits you, he's not a person that just walks through your door like a normal visitor. He makes changes. He's going to cause a tornado. He's going to do a 360. He's going to press down, shake down, running over. He's going to tumble you. Make you uncomfortable. He's going to take you out of your comfort zone. He's going to let you know that, hey, I am a God and I've stepped in. Right. So that's an experience. And why is that an experience for me? Because prior to that, I was broken. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I was on the line of compromising. I would have sold my life mm -hmm. to get something that I thought was good for me and then pushed aside the life God had for me. But when I look back at it, it was worth it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said experience and evaluated experience, totally different things. <laughs> So evaluated experience is the best teacher. The best teacher. Okay. You don't just go through life experiencing things, you reflect. Right. Make sure you because if you don't reflect and if it doesn't you don't evaluate and it doesn't have an impact in your life, then you can go back and do the do same, same thing. Or even do worse. Yes. Hmm. So you just saying that I'm kind of thinking in my head. That explains why a lot of young ladies you find them doing the same thing over and over again. Like, don't you learn? Like yeah. I have yeah. like I just have I think for those kind of people, like it irks me really bad. Like, <laughs> don't you learn something? You know, it's like you're doing the same thing. Can't you see? Mm. So, so, so.